Welcome to Mathematics with Amps, Grade 12, Trigonometry, Double Angles. Don't forget to give me a huge like and to subscribe. Let's look at the double angle formula. If the expression sine of 2a is expanded using a compound angle identity, then a new identity is formed. Like the sine of 2a is the same as sine of a plus a. And of course, if you look, if you look at the sine compound rule, it will be sine a cos a plus cos a sine a. So therefore, if they are like terms, you can add them, you get 2 sine a cos a. Then the next one, so therefore the rule is then that the sine of 2a, which is a double angle, is therefore 2 sine a cos a. If the expression cos of 2a is expanded using a compound angle identity, then a new identity or identities are formed. Like 2a will be a plus a, so you can expand this on the compound cos rule. So it's cos a cos a minus sine a sine a, which of course gives you cos squared a minus sine squared a. So therefore the rule is cos of 2a is cos squared a minus sine squared a. Then from this identity cos squared a plus sine squared a equals to 1, we can deduce that cos squared a is the same as 1 minus sine squared a. And of course sine squared a is 1 minus cos squared a. So therefore, cos of 2a, which of course is cos squared a minus sine squared a, replace cos squared a with 1 minus sine squared a, and you get 1 minus sine squared a. The same with, uh, if you replace sine squared a with 1 minus cos squared a, remove the brackets, and you end up with 2 cos squared a minus 1. Of course, these formulas do appear on your formula sheet during any exams. Double angles, so please take note, there are four of them, one for sine of 2a and three for cos of 2a. Right, let's look at our first examples. Use the double angle formula of the sine to expand the following. Let's start with a1, sine of 4a. If you look at the, the solutions, sine of 4a is the same as the sine of twice 2a. So therefore, twice sine 2a times cos of 2a. Look at number 2, the sine of 50. 50 is twice 25. So therefore, 2 sine 25 cos 25. Look at number 3, the sine of a. Sine of a is twice a over 2, which is a half a. So therefore, sine of a half a times cos of a half a. Look at B, use the double angle formula of cosine and expand the following. Look at cos of 6A. 6A is 2 times 3A. So therefore, cos squared of 3A minus sine squared of 3A. And of course, cos squared of 3A is 2 cos squared 3A minus 1. So therefore, 1 minus 2 sine squared 3A. If you look at number 2, the cos of 80, 80 is 2 times 40, so therefore cos squared of 40 minus sine squared of 40, so therefore it is 2 cos squared 40 minus 1, which of course is 1 minus 2 sine squared of 40. Number 3, the cos of A, cos of A is twice a half of A, so therefore cos squared of a half of A minus sine squared of a half A, which is the same as 2 cos squared A over 2 minus 1, or... 1 minus 2 sine squared a over 2. Right, I have a few examples here which you can try on your own. There's number a, right, as a sine of single a. So now we can do a reverse the rule. If you look at a1, 2 sine 3 theta, cos 3 theta, then of course it can be rewritten as the sine of twice of 30, which is the sine of 6 theta. Remember, we are reversing the rule now. 2 sine a half a times cos a half a, if you reverse it, you know it is twice a half a, which is the sine of 1a. And number 3, 4 sine x cos x, which of course is the same as 2 times 2 sine x cos x, so therefore 2 sine x of 2x. B will be on the next page. Right, B, cos squared of 2 theta minus sine squared of 2 theta is the same as the cos of twice 2 theta, which is the cos of 4 theta. 
1 minus 2 sine squared 2 theta is the same as the cos of 2 theta, which is the cos of 4 theta. And of course, sine squared theta minus cos squared theta, if you take out a minus and you switch, so cos squared minus sine squared theta is therefore minus the cos of 2 theta. Right, let's calculate the following without using a calculator. 2 sine 15 times the cos of 15. Look at the solution. So 2 sine 15 cos 15 is therefore the sine of twice 15, which is a sine of 30, which is a half. 1 minus 2 cos squared of 22,5. So if you take out the negative, and then you can switch uh, 2 cos squared 22,5 with a 1. Then you can recognize the double angle of cos which is 2 times 22,5, which is the cos of 45, which of course is minus the square root of 2. Then C, cos of 15 plus the sine of 15. This, of course, is your double angle for cos. So now, so cos 15, sorry, plus 2 cos 15 times sine of 15 plus sine squared of 15. And that gives you cos squared 15 plus sine squared 15 plus 2 sine 15 times the cos of 15 which is then 1 plus sine of twice 15, which is 1 plus a sine of 30, which is 1 plus a half, which is 3 over 2. Right, here's a little exercise for you to work through. Again, with, with, with trigonometry, you need to practice, practice. So please work through the examples. We will find the solution on the next pages as we continue. Right, this is a continuation of the exercise. Please work through it. Right, here's the, the solutions to the exercise. Or oh, as always, please work through it and make sure that you get the same answers. Right, this is Mathematics with Ams, Ahmed Suleiman. Please make sure you give me a huge like and to subscribe. Remember, subscription is free.